so we need stem cells. They're producing new cells all the time. We know a lot about it in the skin. When you lose stem cells, your hair goes gray, you lose hair production, your skin starts to wrinkle, you get uh, thinning of the skin. Um, for another example would be, uh, let's see, what's a good one? Um, so stem cell therapies are replacing parts of joints and whatever, um, because you lose the ability to, to fix the joints if you wear them out. Um, the problem with stem cells uh, replacement though, is it's often hard to get them to go where they belong, especially in complex tissues like the eye. Uh, but they're very important. Uh, without them, you know, we're not going to survive for very long. But what we're working on in my lab is to try and reverse the age of those stem cells so that they don't die um, and that you don't need to replace them. And uh, we had this paper in Nature in December showing that we could rejuvenate cells and we're now looking at rejuvenating uh, all the cells in the body, not just uh, the eye cells. Um, but until then, I think stem cells are really important. The, the other thing that you, the audience may not know is that you can take a, a skin cell from a person and make that a stem cell now and grow new tissues, uh, new skin, even small mini organs that one day can replace the ones you have. In my lab, we're making mini brains and studying them for Alzheimer's disease and reversal of aging in those. Yeah, wh what we don't know though is how important is it? If you just reverse the age of stem cells and, and stem cells alone, is that sufficient? Um, I'm sure it's necessary, but is it sufficient? We, I don't think we know that yet.